It's question time. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna knot my hair. Better not to mention that knot again. Ugh, questions! Hey guys, alright, today I felt like doing a Q&A. So I asked you on Instagram if there were any questions you wanted to pose to your girl Samantha. Samantha, Samantha. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> if there are any questions you guys had for me, and we will film a little Q&A. So let me go on to Instagram and see what we got. TMP128 asks, hey buttercup. Oh, Sky is at that age now to start wearing makeup. What is a good start? A good start for makeup. Um, first of all, how old is Sky? I I think I started wearing like lip products around the age of 12, something like that, like light baby pink lipstick. <laughs> and then around 15, I think I started wearing like mascara and eyeliner and stuff like that. Um, I think a good way to start is to take your daughter to get, um, I'm assuming it's your daughter, uh, take your daughter to get some beauty advice from a professional. There's things like Sephora, Ulta, you can bring her in. Next question comes from a Beauty Addict 11. What eyeliner do you think is best for winged eyeliner? Uh, what is waterproof for hooded eyes? Okay, so the thing with eyeliner, I don't think there is just a magic eyeliner that works for everybody. Um, it's a lot of trial and error. Error. Some people really do well with the NYC one, the with NYX. I personally don't do well with those eyeliners. I like to stick with either my Eve Pearl, which actually smudges a little bit on me, but lately I've been using the Kat Von D uh, liner in Trooper. That never smudges on me. I use that today. Um, I have slight hooding in the corner. In my left eye, I have slight hooding in the corner, so I like to stick with that eyeliner. It works really well for me. Also, the Inglot uh, AMC Gel Liner in 77, which is the black, that is a very black, very matte, very permanent kind of eyeliner. It's not permanent, but it stays in place for a really long time, so that is another product that you might want to use if you're looking for a great cat eye. I give this advice to people all the time when they ask me how I get a perfect wing. Well, I don't think anybody gets a perfect wing. It's just practice. What you need is a mirror that is magnified and get really close and just do it one little tiny millimeter at a time. Take your time and don't do it in a rush. If you put your eyeliner on when you're rushing, it's gonna come out like crap. It's just, it's just the forces of the world just telling you to slow down with your eyeliner. Amy Lou, what's your ultimate holiday destination? I love Orlando. I've been going there for years with my husband. We've been there countless times. I think that's a great place to be during the holidays, otherwise with family. You know, if I can't travel away, being around family is really great during the holidays. I've spent holidays alone. Matt used to work on Saturdays and Sundays and during holidays. Um, that's the, being the wife of a chef. That's, that's what happens sometimes. Uh, for years he worked um, during every single holiday, Christmas, New Year's, uh, Thanksgiving, because hey listen, the, the nuns have to eat too. I just, I spend holidays alone every once in a while and I'm okay with that. Um, you can celebrate holidays on non-holidays, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to celebrate Christmas on the 25th. You can celebrate it on another day. So uh, I think it's just about who you're with and your mind frame. So that's my favorite place. Wherever, wherever the wind takes me is my... Isabella Josephson, what are your three favorite products when you're running out the door and need a quick makeup look? Mmm, okay. So brows, anything for my brows. Um, today I used the Hourglass like Arch Definer, that new one I just got my hands on. Uh, so any sort of a brow pencil, mascara, and a lip product. So it could be a lip gloss or a lip tint or whatever, some sort of lip product, mascara, and brows. I could just do without any other product, honestly. Like I could get over a pimple on my face if my brows are like spot on. You know what I mean? Like, pimple what? No one's looking at your pimple, they're looking at your brows. Yes, they are. Okay. And plus, if you look people, well this is what I found, if you look people in the eye when you speak to them, they don't notice things like your pimples. So, yes, like this. That's a, that's a Sammy tip from me to you. Shannon T. Quinn, love your channel. Thanks, Shannon. Um, are, are there any products that were limited edition that you wanted but missed out on? If so, what was the one you regret missing out on the most? Take care. Well, thank you, take care. I think there were definitely some MAC lipsticks that I missed out on. Um, there was one that uh, Danny got from the Aquatics collection that I never got my hands on. There was a lipstick from that. 
I try not to play into the hype of limited edition because I have so much makeup and I feel like if you get yourself crazy because you missed out on something limited edition, it's never going to stop. It never stops. And I don't, I don't try to feed into that. But that one lipstick, you know, like I regretted not getting that lipstick. Maybe a blush here and there. Whatever. Don't bring up bad memories, Shannon. Deba Leb, Deba Leb 67. There's me. Uh, what have you found to be the best primer for oily skin? Okay, so oily skin is kind of difficult to prime because your oil will break down everything. It's so annoying. Um, I've been loving the new Benefits one. Where, where are you, Benefit? There, oh, come here, come to mama. This one, I've been loving this uh, lately, and this has been working really well with my makeup from H Alge HD. I'm wearing it today. Like, I'm starting to get oily, but I've also had my foundation on for like 10 hours, and that's kind of a long time. So I've been really loving this. I do also love my YSL. I have a YSL primer, and that's really good for pores. For keeping me matte, um, I feel like it's trial and error. You know, like every day I can be like a different level of oiliness. Like I could be like, like moderately oil. I could be like, I could be like spray vegetable oil. And the next day I could be like a, a cup of canola. Know what I mean? You feel me. One day I could be like a vat of olive oil and like, like someone can deep fry an egg on my face. Like that's all I'm saying. So it just depends. Um, it depends, and it's trial and error. It's all about finding the right foundation with the right primer. Uh, that's why I always recommend going to stores like Sephora and Ulta and getting samples. Samples are your friend. Samples are your friend. Okay, I crawl for 15. What is your favorite cities and places you've traveled to? Okay, well, I obviously love Orlando because I go there every freaking year. Like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, who doesn't love the happiest place on earth? Huh, yeah. Um, I love London. I went to London when I was 21 and I was ready to move there. I just, yeah, I just loved it there. I love all sorts of cities. I've been to um, places in Maine that I love. North Carolina, California, Texas, uh, uh, Portland, Oregon. I, I love lots of cities, but I'd, I'd say that Florida is the best. Like, happiest place on earth. That's all I'm saying. Far 19 6, would you ever consider adopting a dog? The thing with dogs are, they are very high maintenance as far as they need to be let out and they have to be walked and that's not my style. I'm more of an independent pet owner. You know, like cats are super easy. You have kitty litter for them, you have to feed them, you have to give them attention and then that's it. I would have to walk a dog and I just don't have time for that. Dogs get a lot lonelier when they're left alone as opposed to cats. Like cats will sleep and chill. Cats lo love you and need your attention. However, they're independent and they don't, like, like this necklace keeps choking me. Um, they don't need constant attention where dogs like whine and cry and like they need more attention than, than cats. So no, I'm not about that dog life. Prince Eduardo, do you get sick of people asking you when you're having kids? I know I do. It's not happening. Honestly, it's starting to taper off a little bit, like the kids' questions. Um, I've made it very clear to the people that ask those questions, like, it's none of their business, but no, I'm not having kids. Like, that's not my thing. I don't want that option taken away from me because I do not like finalities in that kind of way, but I'm not that's not what I want out of my life. It just, it never has been. When I was a kid, I was never like a baby bar. Like I never wanted to babysit. I was never like baby dolls, baby dolls. Like I, I never liked any of that. And I've just, as an adult, I love my freedom and I like just doing what I want when I want. And it's not like I'm like, oh, I got to go out to a bar. I need to go party. Like that's not me. It's not like I don't want to have kids because I don't want to be like the girl with the baby in a bar. Like you brought a baby to a bar? Who else loves Sweet, that? Sweet Home Alabama? That's like the best movie ever. Reese Witherspoon, hello. I'll visit my friends with babies and I'm good with kids. So I've been told, I'm so, I'd be such a great mother. Like, that's all I hear. But I am a mother. I have two cats. I'm their mom. They're my children. So when people ask me if I have kids, I go, you gonna come watch them? Are you gonna pay for them? Are you gonna, what are you gonna, what? what? Huh? Huh? Whoa? Ah! Big foots, bud. <laughs> a best memory from childhood. It's a hard one. It's a hard to just, it's like hard to just pick one out like that. 
Okay, so during the holidays, we used to go to like my father's sister's houses and my grandma always used to make Rice Krispie treats. Always. Like that was her thing. And she was she was a little nutty. What she used to do is um, wrap the Rice Krispies in tinfoil and then she'd hand it to me every holiday, like say Christmas, and she was like, Samantha, you know, she'd call me in and um, the, the Rice Krispies would be like wrapped and it would be like a pan, like a square, just in tinfoil. And I would like unwrap them and I had to like pick the little bits of tinfoil off the Rice Krispies and that was like... I don't know, I love doing that. It was just, it was like traditional, you know? Every holiday it was the same thing. And if my gram did not make Rice Krispies, it was like, it wasn't a holiday, you know? It was, yeah, that, I love that. Kavarina, favorite liquid lipstick brand, matte. I really love Dose of Colors, the Sephora brand. Like this, it's a, uh, it's like a lip stain or whatever. This, it's a long wearing lipstick and it's matte. I really love that. I love the ColourPop ones, like the new formula too. I've had really great luck with them. Um, yeah, I like the ColourPop ones too. But you know what, it's each his own. I think it's all about a good primer. I like to line my lips before I put it on and um, lip primer to use also. So like I'll use this as a lip primer. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. And you put this on before a long wearing lipstick and it will help the comfortability of that lip product. So and it's all about like being patient after you apply it, just leave it. Don't, none of that, none of that. Coffee at Champ Cheer. Is there a high-end product you would love to try but don't want to spend the money on? So the thing is with me, with high-end products, I will just sample them out. Um, I know everybody talks about Tom Ford eyeshadows and lipsticks. I will not spend that kind of money on a lipstick or an eyeshadow. I just won't do it. And um, if somebody presented me with some Tom Ford makeup and they were like, hey, you want to try it? I would definitely do it. Same with like Chanel. Like, I would try it. Like, I would, but I won't spend that kind of money. I spend money on makeup, too. I do. But not quite that, like, Burberry makeup? No. Like, I'm not spending, like, $85 on a, on a thingy. Like, Christian Louboutin lip uh, nail polish. Not doing it. I just, uh-uh. No. Tara Lisa, what would be your perfect meal? I can tell you exactly what it is. When I got married, Matt and I got married at Treasure Island in Las Vegas. I don't know if you you guys know that, knew that, but right when we got to Las Vegas, we stayed at Treasure Island and there was a restaurant called Kahunaville. Kahunaville had the most amazing stacked nachos you've ever had in your life. These damn things were like two feet high and the layers were all stacked and they were amazing. That was like the best meal I've ever had in my entire life. I love any sort of Mexican inspired food, Mexican food, and those nachos were bomb, dude. Like, they were so good. I know a lot of people will compare them to like Margaritaville. No, no comparison. These were so much better. And yeah, I had a, um, a hurricane, a drink, a hurricane too, and it had like gummy worms sticking out of it and like draped over the sides in this like gigantic cup. It was, it was so awesome. So that was my favorite meal. Like, whoa. Oh, and Canaletto, which is a restaurant in the Venetian, has the most amazing tiramisu you've ever had in your entire life. And it's like the size of a baby. It's crazy. Zient, what is your first makeup challenge? What was your first makeup challenge? It was probably like the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. I've been doing videos for four years now, so um, I'm not really 100% sure. I'm thinking it was the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. If I can find that video below, I will link it promise. Real Nutcase 101. Awesome name, by the way. Um, what was your first cosmetic purchase? Also, do you think I am pretty? Ha <laughs> ha, I know I am. You're ridiculous. And now I'm going to go to your, I'm going to go to your, um, your thing and show everybody how pretty you are. She is. Look at how pretty she is. She's ridiculous too. So awesome. <laughs> um, okay. My first makeup purchase, I didn't, I think it was like wet and wild eyeliner. They were all 99 cents when I was a kid. So probably Wet n Wild eyeliner, it was probably black. And I don't even remember what mascara I used to wear because I didn't care. I didn't care about makeup. I would half the time steal makeup from my mother. Um, she used to wear this like baby pink lipstick and it had like a blue shift. It was from Borghese. That was the first thing I remember like a loving from makeup. Um, yeah, that's it. And I remember like my mom wore rouge, you know, like who calls it rouge anymore?
Anyway, Malkatraz 1969, uh, no, 9678, plans for any more fur babies in the future. Love you, girl. Love you. I don't want to screw up the dynamic of Harley and Lily because they get along so well, so I'm scared about introducing another cat into the mix, if that makes any sense. I would love to get, like, two more cats and have them be, like, siblings and have four cats. Once we get a house, then... Uh, I'll be more comfortable getting more cats because they'll have more room, but I don't really want to mess up the dynamic of the two cats that I have now, especially like I have a big, big apartment, but like, uh, you know, because we have a, a large portion of this house that we rent, but um, I don't want to, you know, I don't know, too many cats in a small s spot, it's, it's no good. Alyssa Morley, what are you planning to make? Uh, are you planning on making any purchases of the next VIB sale? If so, what do you have your eye on? Honestly, I did too much damage down in Texas, so I have my eyes on nothing. I got everything that I wanted because I've been saving up for months. I have a list. I was saving up for months, and I got everything that I possibly wanted. So as of right now, there's nothing that I've got my eyes on. Um, I keep going back to looking at that Becca foundation, but they don't have it in my shade yet because I am pale as crazy, like crazy bell, and um, even their lightest shade doesn't match me. So um, that's the only thing that I kind of had my eye on. I know Tarte is coming out with some like really great stuff for the spring that I've got my eyes on, so we'll see. JL Johnson, can you please do more fashion videos? Of course I can do more fashion videos. You want me to like get up and show you fashion right now? Here's my outfit right now. Fashion. Fashion, fashion. Okay, this is my cardigan. My beautiful cardigan. And then I'm wearing a tank top. And my leggings. They have little textures on them. And my t-shirt. And that's it. It's my, it's my fashion. Fashion video. That was my fashion video. Okay. Okay. Kelly Love Grove, will you make a video on your laser experience? I'm still in the process of getting laser and I'm doing a new skincare. Um, I started a new skincare routine about a month ago. I am loving it, guys, loving it, and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. And um, I'm actually working with the brand right now, so you will be seeing that video from me in like a week or two because I'm really excited and I want to tell you guys about it. So I kind of put off the whole laser thing while I was trying this. this this uh, skincare brand which has really been helping my skin like no breakouts my port oh I can't I'm not gonna get into it but keep on the lookout for that Shelly Bigley Schweitzer when you were little what did you want to be when you grew up I was one of those kids that didn't have a lot of direction my mom was always like you need to be a physical therapist I don't know why she was always like, saying that to me but I wanted to be some sort of entertainer not an entertainer like I didn't want to be famous like I wanted a talk show and does that make sense Oprah in a way you know but like I don't know like something like that I don't know I, I just there's so many things that I love doing that I never really had a lot of direction in one way like a jack of all trades master of none like that was me that was always me like music singing art always really good at it um not that I'm such a great player, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I was always really into the artistic fields, and um, I was always drawn by that. Shelly also asks again, looking back, what was your most awkward fashion makeup stage? Mine was super big hair and bangs in the 90s. Oh, in 1991, there's a picture of me. If I can find it, I'm going to insert it right here. I have the, the, the this, like this thing. Did you guys have this thing? The something about Mary thing? Kelly Kapowski thing? Oh, it was just the worst. It was just the worst. Um, Holly Pollock, um, how old are your cats? Oh, were they adoption babies or pet store babies? They are adoption babies. Um, they were both rescues, one from North Shore Animal League and one from a friend of mine from high school. Um, Harley is about seven and Lily is four. So, amazing. I love them both. I would never buy pets. No adjustments if you do, but, you know, that's not my thing. Uh, Shauna, you are the last question of the night. Are, are the MAC Pro, lamp, Pro, Pro Longwear Paint Pods good for oily lids? Other eye primer suggestions. Love your channel. Love you too, girlfriend. Um, I use paint 
Painterly and I've been using Painterly for years. I have hella oily eyelids. I think they work for me. Um, you can also try Urban Decay Primer Potion. That seems to work for people too. So, okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you liked it and want to see more videos like this. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.